ask your attention for a few more minutes. Over the years when you have asked me, hey Father Jim, how you doing? My response has been, I am blessed. And I found that the more I responded like this, the more I actually believed it. And then sought to live my life that way, as a blessed child of God. Well, I have some news that I need to share with you tonight that will not sound like a blessing. Yet I believe it will truly be so. For over a year and a half, I've been having some muscle problems with night cramps in my legs, and it's made sleep difficult. And, and more recently, I've had some uncontrolling, uncontrollable twitching in my muscles. Well, after trying the standard hydration and stretching protocols, um, adding magnesium and potassium supplements to my diet, I found some relief, but it was pretty short-lived. Well, finally, this past <laughs> September, my pre-support group strongly urged me to get some more focused medical attention. After a number of extensive tests, blood work, MRI of my brain and neck, on November 13th of last year, I was diagnosed with ALS also known as Lou Gehrig's disease after the famous baseball player. ALS is a progressive nervous system disease that destroys the nerve cells and eventually causes disability and total paralysis. Doctors do not know why you get ALS. ALS often begins with muscle twitching and weakness in a limb or slurred speech. As the disease spreads and nerve cells are destroyed, my muscles will progressively weaken, as I have been experiencing recently in my upper body, and especially in my left hand. Eventually, ALS will affect control of my muscles needed to move, to speak, to eat, and finally to breathe. There is no cure, no treatment, or effective medication for ALS. The disease is fatal. As one of the doctors put it, think of it as Alzheimer's of the muscles. Your cognitive abilities are intact, but your muscles don't know what to do. After meeting with my good friends, Father Gary Zender and Bishop Joe Tyson, they helped me to formulate a plan to go see Archbishop Sarkar and to inform him of my situation. When I met with him a week after Thanksgiving, he was so caring, concerned, and compassionate. And he was also extremely supportive of two requests that I had. First, I asked that I remain as pastor at St. Michael Parish as long as I can effectively function. This is what I love, being a priest, being your pastor, serving the Archdiocese. And secondly, I asked him that I be allowed to remain in the rectory as my abilities deteriorate, which they will, and to be cared for here with your help, and to die here among you, whenever that might be. I am deeply grateful for his understanding and his kindness. As I've researched and learned much about ALS, I've come to understand how devastating this disease is. It is relentless and will eventually rob me of my ability to move, then eat, and finally breathe. 
Yet I am hopeful about the assistance that I am already receiving at Swedish ALS Clinic under the direction of Dr. Michael Elliott and his team. In the weeks following my diagnosis, I slowly began assembling a support team of parishioners who will in the future ask you and contact you for your help to assist in my caregiving. Now, I do not know when or how quickly the symptoms will worsen. Each individual is different. They call it a designer disease. From initial diagnosis, average life expectancy is three to five years. Yet, for some folks, longer. What God has in store, I do not know. But I trust in God's love, in God's plan for my life, and however God wants to use me in this. I realize that this is a lot to hear and to digest. I wish I could have told more of you personally. Father Gary Zender, my close friend, whose homily I stole tonight, He's also the vicar of clergy for the Archdiocese. He came to be with me this weekend to read this announcement to the folks at the West Side so that everybody would hear it once. In the coming weeks, I will write more about ALS in the bulletin. I will post links on our parish website to the ALS Association, as well as to an inspiring video about the ALS clinic that I am now aligned with. Cards, letters, and hugs will be greatly appreciated. But please, for now, no cookies, casseroles, or extra food. <laughs> Lastly, you may be asking, what can we do for your father, Jim? Well, at this point, Please, please pray for me. Pray daily for the intercession of St. John Paul II, who taught the world how to live and die well and with dignity. Pray to blessed Giorgio Frazzati. If you don't know him, look him up. He's awesome. He's a blessing. He needs a second miracle. And I'm volunteering <laughs> in order for him to become a saint. But most of all, please pray that I may daily be open to the will and plan of God. I do not know how this will unfold. When? I'm doing well now. I don't know how long this disease will take. But please pray that I be able to offer whatever suffering this will entail for the salvation of souls and the conversion of hearts to Jesus Christ, the true light of the world. Lastly, thank you. Thank you for the incredible opportunity to have been your pastor these past 20 years. I can't express in words how grateful I am to all of you and how you have helped me on my journey. Let us journey into the future with hope because we follow Jesus Christ who is the light of the world. Bless you.